Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 2014 Speeder Bike with Scout Trooper set. Here's a look at the packaging. The packaging for the Speeder Bike with Biker Scout isn't anything special. There's not really a whole lot exciting to it. It's much like everything else in Black Series which is quite bland but hey it gets the job done. So this set has been out for about a month, a month and a half. And I just got around to picking it up at my local Target. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I am pretty pleased with it. Uh, there are a few drawbacks to the set uh, that I will go over. But here's a look at what the Scout Trooper looks like on his speeder bike. What's quite cool about this set is the clear display base that comes with it. That way you can have your Scout Trooper kind of just hovering. And it's sort of something like they did with the recent deluxe set that had the new a speeder bike, and a Scout Trooper figure. So you get the same kind of effect. It makes it look like it's hovering. This set is priced at $40, which, uh, you know, is a little bit expensive, but, you know, considering you're getting an actual vehicle with this set, I guess it's not a terrible deal. It still feels like a chunk of money, though, when you are paying for it at checkout. All things considered, though, the engineering on these three uh, pieces is quite nice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look at that in a little more detail. Let's go ahead and kick things off here with the Scout Trooper. Right off the bat, my biggest gripe with this guy is uh, the way that his left leg is twisted in that very unnatural and painful looking way. I think this is a result of how he's packaged in the box. Uh, I think his leg just got warped. And I don't know if doing one of those boiling tricks or something, you know, might fix it. I'm not sure if I want to do that right off the bat, but, um, you know, it is quite bothersome, you know, especially since... Uh, it's a pretty obvious issue. So because of that, you know, we kind of have to stand him at a bit of an angle, uh, you know, with the legs kind of positioned a little oddly there. Um, the sculpt of the figure, though, is really nicely done. I really like just how they captured his look, just like with the other Black Series 6-inch figures. Coloring on him is pretty nice, and, uh, you know, I would say that's my second biggest gripe, is that they put quite a bit of dirt on him. That's not film accurate, uh, you know, I, I really wish they would have just done this all clean, just like with the Stormtrooper. Um, but, you know, obviously that was not meant to be. Other than that, though, I mean, the coloring is good. Uh, the black and white, I mean, it looks pretty much on par with on the film. It's just that once you look at those dirtier bits on him, you know, that he has there on the chest and on the legs and the knee pads, it's just not film accurate. And I really, really wish that they wouldn't have done that. Close-up of the head. Um, again, looks quite nice. Um, the paint is a little bit off on the visor. Um, so, you know, just kind of keep an eye on that when you're picking one out at the store if you buy it from retail. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that on a lot of these guys that I saw in the store, um, the visor was dented because of the way it's positioned in the box. Luckily, this one that I came across, you know, looked really nice and did not have that dent problem. So, uh, you know, just keep an eye when you're selecting your set if you do buy it at your local store. Um, the lines there on the back pack or whatever you want to call this thing are a little bit uneven. They're a little uneven. Um, there's a little red detail there. Um, I mean, the, the midsection there, it's a little bit darker, uh, you know, just like has been the case on other Scout Trooper figures from Hasbro. Um, you know, all the other stuff there, you know, looks pretty nice. The bodysuit has some texturing on it. Uh, the sculpt work is really nice, and I, I think the paint, you know, like I said, is it's a, it leaves a little bit to, to be desired, you know, it's specifically because of the dirt look that they gave him. In terms of articulation, our Scout Trooper has a ball joint at the head. He has ball hinges at the shoulders, and they're somewhat restricted by the shoulder pad. He has cuts here at the biceps. He has double bends at the elbows. He has uh, hinges here at the wrists. He has a hinge there at the torso, so you can kind of give him uh, some movement there. He has uh, ball hinges here at the hips, uh, you know, and he does a pretty good split. That way you can get him on his bike pretty easily. He has cuts at the thighs. He has double bends at the elbows. And then he has a uh, rocker-like joints here at the ankles. There you go. Uh, he has one accessory, and it's actually going to be right there in his uh, boot. And that's just his little pistol. 
The pistol is quite tiny and it does look a bit fragile, so I would just say be careful with it. Uh, it's also hard to get it into his hand uh, simply because, uh, you know, just the way that it's folded, uh, you can't really have him holding it or he's kind of aiming it straight on. You kind of got to put it in at an angle. It's the same with the left hand. It just kind of sticks like that. I'm worried if I try and force it, it's going to snap or something, though. So, uh, you know, I suppose that works. And when you put it back in there, you can kind of just fill it like catch. That way it doesn't slide out when he's riding his bike. Moving right along to the speeder bike, um, this is what you get. Um, it's sculpted very nicely. And, uh, you know, it looks a lot like the one that they came out with that I mentioned um, from the three and three quarter inch line a couple years ago. It might have been a Toys R Us exclusive that came with the Scout Trooper. It looks like they took that and basically blew that up. To, uh, to be in scale for the six inch figures. I mean, it looks a lot like it. Um, it's a really nice looking bike. I mean, the, it, it looks quite realistic. Uh, the metallic look that they gave it, you know, the scuffing. Even this little bag on the back, you know, it's a pretty nice detail there. I don't know what it is or what's in it, or it looks like it might be a sleeping bag or something. Um, that'd be kind of weird though, to see a scout trooper sleeping in a sleeping bag. Um, but yeah, there's the back side there, some nice riveting, you know, it, it looks really, really nice. I, I really like what they did here with it. Uh, the pedals look a little bit unique. It almost looks like they have little latching there, which I'm not sure if that's a feature any of the previous uh, three and three quarter inch scale speeder bikes had. Um, and he's got pegs on it too for his feet. Um, if you look here at the underside, just very nicely detailed. The, the socket right there you see is so that you can stick the display base in there. Uh, there's a gun underneath that rotates. You know, quite cool. Uh, and then, you know, there's the front of it. Uh, all in all, nicely done. Nice sculpt, nice paint. Um, my biggest issue with this is that, you know, like with the Scout Trooper, uh, they packaged it in the box in a way that warped it. The handlebars are just kind of off. Um, and yeah, that I have a big problem with that. I mean, I'm all for packaging figures and items securely in the box, but, you know, there's a way to, to do it in which you don't warp the figure. I mean, there's got to be. This is just pretty bad. I mean, especially for $40 a pop, I don't think that this is... I'm, I'm pretty unhappy about that. Um... One other thing I want to show you uh, on this thing is that uh, the flaps at the back, they do move up, um, but they don't go up all the way. It's about as much as they'll go, uh, you know, which does make them a little bit unique since the uh, three and three quarter inch, I believe, do go all the way up. Um, these pedals don't move either, so, you know, they're kind of just uh, in place there. So the display base is a pretty plain looking base. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. It definitely doesn't look like anything special. It's kind of hollowed out there on the bottom. And it has three different uh, bulbs that you can kind of just display it however you want. Um, you just connect it to that little uh, indentation on the underside of the speeder bike right there. And you can actually put any one of these in there. You know, put at least a little bit of force and get it in. There you go. And, uh, you know, with that, the bike stands. Um, one of the cool things about this thing is that you can actually um, tilt it however you, you want to do it. So you can have your speeder bike, uh, you know, just in different kind of action poses. And, uh, you know, that's quite cool. And uh, getting our guy on there isn't too bad. Uh, he sits on there pretty well. Um, the thing is, he doesn't really sit his backside all the way down on the bike. He kind of just hovers and, you know, I haven't really found a way to get him to sit down all the way. So, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a bummer, but, you know, I mean, hey, it still looks cool. He still looks good on there. Um, another thing is he kind of holds the handlebars in a weird way. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not awful, but there, it just doesn't seem like there's a way to get him to hold those things straight. He's a heavy figure in relation to the flimsiness of these handles, so... Uh, you know, he does kind of tend to cause them to warp a little bit more. So, you know, the package is a big part of why that issue does exist. But, uh, you know, the other part of the problem is that, uh, you know, the material used there is just a little bit too flimsy. So I feel that if they would have made these just a little bit beefier, you know, we would have 
uh, negated part of that problem. His feet also peg in there. He actually has two pegs. He's got one at the heel, one at the toe. And, uh, you know, with the one at the toe, he seems to hold those uh, pedals in place quite well. We can kind of put them off to the side. We can put him facing down. Um, you know, we can tilt him, you know, within reason. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series. 2014 Scout Trooper with Speeder Bike set. Um, all in all, it's a nice set. I, I like it. I like the Scout Trooper. I like the Speeder Bike. I like the Display Base. Um, but it's not perfect. Um, the biggest issue I have with the Scout Trooper is the warping issue with the leg uh, due to the way he's packaged in there. Uh, I think that's a bit inexcusable, uh, you know, especially when you're paying $40 for a set like this. You know, issues like that simply should not exist. Uh, they should have caught that. The, uh, the coloring on the Scout Trooper overall is nice, except for the dirt. I'm not feeling the dirt. It's not movie accurate. They shouldn't have done it. Um, the speeder bike is nice. It's a really nice sculpt, nice coloring. Um, my biggest issues with it are the flimsiness of the handlebars, which do cause them to warp when he's holding them, and also from the way it's packaged. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a nice speeder bike. He interacts quite well with it. He doesn't sit all the way down, which, you know, I, I think is something that needs to be looked at a little bit more thoroughly going forward if they do plan to reissue this down the line. And of course the display base is uh, quite nice. I like how you can uh, you know, choose which of the three bulbs you want to place the speeder bike on. And the fact that you can kind of angle it almost however you want is uh, you know, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, if you're collecting 6 inch black series, you know, you're definitely going to want to have this. Uh, first of all because it includes a scout trooper, which you know, he's not at this time packaged individually. And uh, it has this movie accurate speeder bike. Um, and uh, I, for what it is, you know, I'm glad to have it in my collection. I just don't think it's quite as good as it could have been. Uh, just with a little bit more effort and a little bit more attention to a few things, you know, this could have been way more awesome. But, you know, for what it is, it's, it's pretty good. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time. Bye-bye.